Ah, uh, the Bosphorus. Istanbul, a, a beautiful place, for sure. A place destined for conquest and annexation into the great Maltese Empire. Because now we are repurposing the great Tower of Malta, a tower that we have tirelessly sought to build, into a tower to pierce the skies, a tower of great military destruction. Any foreigner so blessed to see the graceful tower will probably never see the light of day again. For this pillar, currently 356 stories tall, will be the destruction of this world. I guess Turkey is guaranteed by the United Kingdom, so if we are to invade them, we will have to invade all of the allies. There's really no neutral countries in the Mediterranean, so uh, our hand will be forced. I guess we can invade Croatia. <laughs> and the Soviet Union under Mr. Joseph Stalin has gone to war with the allies over in a disagreement with Finland. So yes, the world will never be the same and we'll be given our opportunity to become masters of the Mediterranean as Japan, I guess, receives aid from the US in conquering China on the other side of the world. Okay, and it is time to begin. We will launch our invasion into Croatia and integrate it fully into the greater Maltese Empire. We have finally seen it fit to grow beyond our small borders. Well, our very small and horizontal land size, but infinitely tall borders, almost to 500 floors too, which is, which is just marvelous. And things are not going well for the Soviet Union until now, of course, because now things will take a far different turn. Ah yes, we have taken Sicily, another island to add to our great island nation. Now only if we could seize Trieste, uh, a ni the nice port there would serve our cause well. Yeah, so we've been slowly fighting. Unfortunately, we lost Luxembourg. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. The Soviets are still alive, so we still have some time. We just can't get naval supremacy in the central med, which is um kind of an issue since we're in the central med. And we finally did it. We rule the waves, at least the waves outside of Malta once again and we are invading Italy we have kind of encircled these guys they still have a level 8 naval base but this is a start at least anything to um stop this I guess and even though the Soviets are falling, we are still making good progress in Italy. Enough progress that we can recore our Italian lands as the true um, Italy, I guess. We are something, the true Rome. It's not like having Italy as core states really matters that much because this one state here has a lot of resources and we have um, uh, around 300 military factories, which still is less than all the allies combined, but is a sizable amount. Our heavy battleships will finally start coming out because yeah, we have uh, quite a few dockyards also. Uh, we probably have more dockyards than everybody in the allies combined. Yeah, easily. And the Maltese invasion into North Africa has begun. How beautiful. Hopefully we'll at least take a few of these ports and then we can start putting more pressure on the allies while they slowly try to capitulate Russia. And our first enemy has capitulated. Admittedly, that enemy was German North Africa, so I guess, you know, I, I don't even think they had their own army, but it's at least progress, and we were able to do our decision to core them too, so now these are all core states. We'll, we'll get to the Suez soon. I guess we're technically not at war with Turkey, so we'll only get one side of it. I guess we could try to go for Gibraltar or something. I, I don't know, we're kind of stalled up here a little bit. I don't know, at least the Soviets haven't died yet. They've been able to hold on to Stalingrad for a while. Oh, this looks, oh, what, what even, what, what? Oh, wait, did the Soviets look like they have 50 divisions total or something? This is really bad, but the allies are kind of stretched thin. Uh, if, if anything, though, we'll be able to start putting pressure on Germany and France, so they will have to withdraw from the Soviet front. I feel like we might just be getting here just in time because this is, this is pretty bad. Okay, and now we're running out of options here. The Soviets are dying. Um, 
They lost Stalingrad. They're being pushed back into the nothingness. 90% towards capitulation. So we, we in Malta have launched Operation the Save Papa Stalin. We have landed 10 elite divisions in Turkey and they'll be followed in by 51 terrible divisions who will help support the effort as we capitulate Turkey and then invade the Caucasus and save the Soviets. Maybe, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, these teams are very, very fair. Yeah, um, Japan just joined the Allies, so. The Comintern, the Four Pillars of Destiny, and the Hispanic Alliance against pretty much the entire rest of the world besides South America and the US. I guess if we could get the US into our faction. Yeah, no, no. Alpha's lend-leasing both sides like a true American patriot, so yeah, he's he's not gonna join. And unfortunately, with the Japanese in the war, Vladivostok fell. But I, generous as I am, one of the true good guys authorized an emergency invasion of Sevastopol so the Soviets didn't capitulate. So now with this as their capital, they'll be fine for a while. At least, I don't think they'll ever capitulate now because they have our divisions on their front. Of course, we don't really have enough divisions to maintain the entire Eastern Front, but the Allies don't seem to be adjusting to this new change very well. We're just rolling through the Caucasus, stealing back some good oil, as they put a million divisions to try to take Istanbul, but that will never happen. I still think, though, that even with Sevastopol, they'll still most likely capitulate if they lose all of their stuff in here. So I think we're going to have to take Stalingrad. That's the only way that we can ensure their survival. So we will make a, a very good division that will help us save the day. It'll be a great motorized division. Uh, well, we'll just make some 20 with motorized. We have a lot of extra motorized, so we can afford it. We'll just change these two divisions into the motorized, and they will have one mission to get to Stalingrad as fast as possible. Okay, and we did it. That was lucky. And now they're only 93% of the way towards capitulation, so I think they'd be able to lose all this and still survive. The Soviets are so stupid. They only have one division on their own front, and instead of fighting the enemy that's about to capitulate to them, they're garrisoning the border with me and Iran. I, I even have a non-aggression pact with them. Isn't this supposed to stop the AI from being this stupid? Well, they're fighting very, very hard for Greece and Italy now, because we invaded here and they're just trying to take this back, which we've held for a long time now. But in the meantime, we're just, you know, rushing through the Soviet Union, uh, liberating it. We'll be to Moscow in no time, maybe. I, I don't. The main issue is that Japanese divisions have started appearing on the front, which is not a good sign. I, I saw them in Chukin Banner over a few divisions, so um, yeah, that's not very good. They, they have quite the army. They could stall the entire front if they wanted to. And they really aren't at war with anybody else besides us and Mexico. Oh wow, and by some miracle, we now have green air everywhere except Greece. They just really, really want Greece. I I don't know. I guess Istanbul is a cool city, but is it, is it worth this? Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. We should be still upgrading the tower. We're almost to a thousand floors. Yeah. And meanwhile, what is Stalin doing with his divisions? They're all sitting in Crimea doing absolutely nothing. Good one, Stalin. This is very smart. I guess this would be good if you were completely surrounded, but... I, I don't know, I guess you don't even have enough divisions that it really matters, but I'm, I'm moving my marines away. Um, I, this, is, this is just ridiculous. Okay, and things are kind of settling down in the Soviet Union. We were for a long time able to just grab whatever we wanted, but it seems like this is where the stalemate is gonna be. Meanwhile though, as the British, the British are doing their job, they're um, defending their holdings in the Soviet Union. But of course, the one thing they're probably not concerned about right now is defending the UK, because if you look at the enemies they're facing, that doesn't seem like much of a threat. Until now, however, because we just took Gibraltar and are able to get a, a decent navy outside of the Mediterranean, and now we will do a surprise invasion of the UK, maybe. We'll at least try. I doubt they're defending it at all, so we should be okay. 
okay, I think. Hmm, well, isn't this quite an interesting development? The British, I do admit, are at least guarding the English Channel. We can't get naval supremacy there, and they even have the Japanese helping them a little bit, I guess. But yeah, uh, we're, we're just gonna start planning a naval invasion over there. That's, that's gotta... That's gonna be good. I love it when divisions from the Japanese Empire are attacking me in Italy. Uh, this is um, an interesting situation, and I just can't get green air here right now, so... I mean, we may be losing northern Italy, potentially. What, the Soviets can't even fight on their own front, but they're garrisoning Gibraltar with me? I just noticed. Oh. What's going on? And as expected, we were met by literally no one on the British Isles. They were not ready for this. They doubted us, and now they will pay the price. I assume there's some division somewhere in the vicinity, so I'm sure some reinforcements will pop up, whether they be from Ireland or Belgium or something. I, I don't know. But I'm they, ha they have to have divisions somewhere nearby. They might even just spawn some in in London. Okay, here they are. Yeah, they, they must have spawned some in in London. So yeah, yeah, since that first invasion into Britain wasn't enough, we're invading them again. Of still, we can't get supremacy in the English Channel, so that's kind of annoying. I'd like to invade London, you know, oppress our former oppressors. Because yeah, over here, we're not, we're not making much progress. At least the Soviets have divisions on their front now, that's really all I can ask for. Maybe we can do something somewhere else though, I guess I can invade Spain. Or if we can capitulate the UK then we can D-Day France and that would be very exciting. I feel like that would win us the game here. That would that would end this end my pain. Well, you know, India and Japan are both majors, but that would that that's where I would probably just, you know, call it quits or something. We're going to start breaking through here in France where they have no divisions for some reason. I I don't know why, but yeah, the Japanese are defending all the islands, they're defending the British mainland, they're de defending the front in the Soviet Union, I, I don't know. I thought the Japanese joining wasn't too big of a deal, but I, they're a lot more powerful than I initially thought. They're probably the most powerful nation other than us in the United States. At least the United States isn't choosing a side. <sighs> and we've landed all over the side of France. This is, this is good, even though we are getting pushed out of Britain. Oh no, nah. Alf. Okay, well. <laughs> I was already complaining about the Japanese Navy and all the Japanese divisions that were coming over, but now... This is gonna be just like that, but even worse. Yeah, I just can't believe this. This is like the strongest allies ever, since when does this happen? Uh, so while the Japanese helped defend Britain, the Americans brought hundreds of divisions into Russia to destroy communism as... Expected, I guess. But but besides them in France, Germany has really been defending them. I don't even know where all the French divisions really are, if they even have that many. I guess they, they have some. Maybe they're in Spain? Yeah. But yeah, Germany's been defending France, and we need to capitulate France. So we're going to stage an invasion of all the Balkans to maybe distract Germany by the invasion of literally all the Balkans. I... I don't know how successful it'll be, but we need whatever we can get before the Soviets capitulate. Which I guess if this invasion fails, we can just move all these 40 width, these 60 whatever 40 width divisions to Russia. Oh well, my friends, we tried. We, we really did try here. Um, this was not a good situation, and with all the Americans, it's it's not not good. I think I, I think that if we continued for a lot longer, we would win maybe. And nuclear technology is just over the horizon, you know? We did reach floor number 1090, which is pretty impressive. It's kind of a miracle that it hasn't been destroyed by anything. Like, I, I don't know, um, the US could probably throw a rock at it and knock it over, maybe. I don't know how stable this thing is. Even if its base was the size of the entire island, it would probably not be very, um, sturdy at 1,090 stories. But I think that may be the end of our journey as Malta today. Maybe we can continue, maybe we can try again sometime. Maybe hope when we roll the dice we get a more favorable outcome with the- Oh no, no, you thought that we lost. No, no. After a hundred years of constant warfare, in the end, Malta and the four pillars of destiny came out on top. Of, of course, you doubt Malta? No, 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 Malta. 
never, never fails, especially with the other three pillars, Luxembourg, the powerhouse, Bataan, another, another great nation, and then our other friend, El Salvador, on the other side of the world, yeah. And now we will proclaim the nation of Crusaders, you know, the, the, the knights themselves, yeah. <laughs> and now we will do our, um, final, our final focus, and unlock our ability to proclaim the Supreme Leader. Wait. What is this witchcraft? The tower takes control of Malta? The Tower of Justice? The tower, the Order of Malta and her crusaders have brought the idea of Greater Malta to existence. The greatest achievement was the reconquest of the Holy City of Jerusalem, even bringing parts of the Holy City into one of the tower's floors. Okay, um, yeah, we're now just led by the tower. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, you know, that, that, that's that's enough for today. That's that's enough tower probably for the rest of my life. I don't know. If I see another mod that's like the Tower of Luxembourg on the Steam Workshop, I might I might not be able to play it, you know. I feel like I'm forever scarred by this mod. I've spent way too much time building this tower and then trying to fight that impossible war. This is quite the experience. <laughs> but it was a good mod, nonetheless. And I will see you all next time. <laughs> Thank you.